Looking for a super stealthy computer to handle your daily tasks like light office work, programming, multimedia, and entertainment, all for under $300? The B-Link EQ13 might just be the perfect pick. Hey guys, CJ here with Elevated Systems. I've reviewed a ton of these mini PCs, and while each one has its quirks, they're all pretty similar overall. Because of that, my review formula tends to be consistent, but today, since this is a straightforward PC, I'm gonna simplify things a bit. We'll do the usual unboxing, setup overview, and cover the specs and features. However, while I will run a few benchmarks for some insight, instead of the usual battery of benchmarks and analytical performance test, I'll just focus on showing you what this little PC can and can't do and figure out who exactly this thing is for. The simplicity of the EQ13 starts with the unboxing. Sliding the top off the box, we see the mini PC itself sitting in a cardboard cradle. Underneath the PC, there's a familiar looking card and a user's manual. Next, we have an HDMI cable. Simplifying things even further, there's just a power cable. No big wall wart or power brick as the power supply is built directly into the mini PC. We'll see this when we open up the EQ13. To do this, we need to remove these four rubber plugs, revealing four screws. Once we remove the screws, we can lift off the bottom panel using the small rubber tab. Before we dive into the components we just exposed, let's look at the specs of this mini PC. The B-Link EQ13 runs on an Intel N200, a quad-core CPU featuring Intel's 12th gen efficiency cores, which operates from 750 megahertz up to 3.7 gigahertz. What makes this CPU great for a mini PC is its power efficiency, idling at just 6 watts and maxing out at 25 watts. Now back to the rest of the components. Under a heatsink, we have a 500 gigabyte Gen 3 NVMe SSD and 16 gigabytes of DDR4-3200 memory. Both PCIe Gen 3 and the single channel 16 gigabit memory are limitations of the N200. Beneath the primary SSD, there's an Intel Wi-Fi 6 adapter, and there's a second M.2 NVMe slot capable of supporting up to a four terabyte SSD. For ports up front, we have a 10 gigabit type A port, a headset jack, a clear CMOS button, a 10 gigabit per second type C port, and the power button. On the back, there's two 10 gigabit type A ports, a USB 2.0 type A port, two HDMI ports, each supporting displays up to 4K at 60 Hertz, two gigabit LAN ports, and the AC power input. The EQ13 is essentially palm sized at just 126 millimeters square by about 40 millimeters tall. Setting up the EQ13 is as simple as plugging in your chosen keyboard, mouse, and display. You can connect to the internet via ethernet or just go with Wi-Fi. Finally, plug it in and hit the power button. We're immediately greeted with a standard Windows 11 installation wizard. Just like all the mini PCs I've reviewed recently, this one supports a local account installation, so there's no need for a Microsoft account login. B-Link also doesn't add any additional bloatware to the already bloated Windows OS. However, unlike other mini PCs I've reviewed, the EQ13 BIOS provides complete access to various CPU, frequency, power, and thermal settings, as well as fan curves. You can literally spend hours tweaking the performance of this little PC to fit your use case. You can also mess things up, but thankfully not permanently thanks to the clear CMOS button up front. Now, apart from ensuring the default Windows power management profile is set to best performance, I left the other BIOS settings at their out of the box defaults for this review, as that's realistically what the typical person who buys the EQ13 will do. Now it's time to see what this tiny PC is and isn't capable of. First and foremost, this PC is purpose-built for small business productivity or home office workloads. Whether you work online using Google Docs or Microsoft Office 365 or have locally installed Office apps, the EQ13 will multitask all day long. You can type out documents, manage complex spreadsheets, develop detailed presentations, and handle all your communications simultaneously and effortlessly. For the type of productivity work most people do, the EQ13 is more than adequate. To put it into perspective, I ran the Underwriters Laboratories Pro Scion Productivity Benchmark, which tests the system's ability to multitask using the Microsoft Office Suite. The EQ13 scored 3,612, 
that is about 40% lower than the last mini PC I reviewed, the GMK Nookbox M6, which has a much more powerful CPU and cost over $200 more. However, let's put the score into perspective. Procyon calculates the score based on time task. For example, it took the GMK Tech PC 0.25 seconds to save a Word document compared to 0.388 seconds for the EQ13. The more expensive PC took 0.676 seconds to format an Excel table, while the cheaper PC did it in 1.9 seconds. The M6 added a photo to a PowerPoint presentation in 0.374 seconds, while the EQ13 did it in 0.437 seconds. For most tasks, the difference comes down to imperceptible fractions of seconds. However, for some tasks that require more multi-core computing power, the difference can be noticeable. For example, it takes the Intel N200 almost eight seconds longer to convert a Word document to PDF, almost 24 seconds longer to filter unique pairs in a spreadsheet, and 17 seconds longer to convert a PowerPoint to a video. So for the office gurus out there, this may be slightly below your standards, but for most day-to-day -day productivity tasks, it's a good little system. Another task this mini PC handled rather well was moderate photo editing in Photoshop and Lightroom. While not a machine for professional photographers, the EQ13 managed batch editing in Lightroom and some moderately advanced photo manipulation and effects in Photoshop, even surviving the pretty demanding Puget Bench test. However, the EQ13 could not complete the Premiere Pro Puget Bench test. It's a bit under spec for even moderate 4K video editing. However, it's perfectly capable of stitching together a real TikTok video or simple YouTube video using Premiere Rush. This lightweight video editor is used primarily to edit cell phone footage, but I threw some Sony and Canon H.264 and some ProRes camera footage in the timeline and was easily able to edit it. I added transitions, overlays, graphics, and some color filters. The EQ13 published the project quickly and easily. Another thing I tested was some basic programming. I installed Python and coded a very basic Tetris clone, the script executed without issue, and the game functioned perfectly. I also coded a small script that searched and returned a count of a keyword in all spreadsheets stored in a given folder. This script also executed and returned results quickly. Again, this isn't a PC for professional programmers writing pages of code and compiling locally. However, for someone just learning to code or for speeding up or automating productivity workflows with scripts, this will do the job well. Finally, another area where the EQ13 shines is in any and all workloads executed through a browser. Whether you're a professional programmer coding through a remote web-based IDE, logging into a remote server, terminal, or virtual machine for work, or just looking for a tiny efficient system for entertainment or as a media PC, the EQ13 can handle it. To test this, I turned to Jetstream 2, a benchmark that checks a range of web apps and code to ensure the browser starts up quickly, executes the code efficiently, and runs smoothly throughout. Now, I know these tests and figures might look like a bunch of tech mumbo jumbo to most, but the code being scrutinized here is the backbone of the web-based productivity and entertainment tools we use daily. A higher score translates to a more capable machine for getting work done. Basically, this mini PC is good for most low to moderate demand, single core bursty workloads like the tasks I just outlined. What it's not ideal for are any sustained multi-core workloads such as 3D rendering, extensive code compilation, software-based audio or video encoding, scientific or simulation applications, or large database management. With its low power integrated UHD the graphics, it's also not ideal for GPU intensive compute or graphics tasks, which is reflected in a Geekbench OpenGL score of just 3,861. So while it can handle some basic arcade or esports type gaming, you're not going to be competitive in more demanding AAA titles. And as we saw, it's not an ideal choice for 4K or higher video editing, and it also will not excel in GPU based rendering or machine learning or simulation workloads. Now, I've reviewed an Intel N100 based mini PC and laptop, which features essentially the same CPU as the N200 with just a 300 megahertz slower boost clock. So I knew what to expect in terms of performance. The N200 based B-Link EQ13 slightly outperforms last year's N100 based EQ12, 
But what surprised me was how much more efficient and silent this mini PC is. And I mean, it's dead silent. I know the fan is spinning because I could feel warm air being pushed out of the back of the PC. However, I couldn't hear even a whisper of the fan. And the CPU is peaking at just 82 degrees, and this is under a full Cinebench 2024 workload. As far as power consumption goes, at idle, total system power at the wall averages about 12 watts, with the CPU sitting at about 6 watts. Under full load, total system power averages 26 to 30 watts, with the CPU briefly peaking at its 25 watt max and then settling in at about 20 watts. Apart from Apple Silicon Mac minis, this is the most efficient and quietest mini PC I've reviewed to date. So realistically, the B-Link EQ13 mini PC is a compact powerhouse perfect for small business productivity, home office tasks, web-based work, and multimedia. It's efficient Intel N200 CPU, silent operation, and impressive multitasking capabilities make it ideal for those who need a reliable work host for documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and smooth browsing. The built-in power supply and minimal bloatware are added bonuses. However, its limitation in handling intensive tasks like professional video editing and advanced programming are notable. It's not suited for heavy-duty creatives or hardcore programmers, but for Everyday office work, moderate photo editing, light video editing, and web-based tasks, it's a fantastic choice. If you're a tech enthusiast, a casual coder, or someone seeking a sleek and quiet addition to your workspace, the EQ13 is well worth considering. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found this review helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Elevated Systems for more tech reviews, tutorials, and tips. Hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. Have any questions about the B-Link EQ13 mini PC? Drop them in the comments below. I love hearing from y'all. Check out the link in the description for more info and current pricing, and I'll catch you in the next one.